Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're going to have a quick little chat today about, about, hey, Rich, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? I know I owe you uh, an email and I will email you. I will email you. So good morning. How are you? I got something awesome to share with you guys today. Something awesome. Something awesome. Good morning. Hey, Growing Longer Life. How are you? Hey, good morning, you guys on Facebook Live. It's so good to see you. Uh, so uh, I would love to uh, say hello and welcome. I'm excited. Hey, Diva Key. Hello. Hey, Aisha. How are you, my sister? God bless you. It's so good to see you. Um, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, yes, that's good. Painting is amazing. Good morning. Glad that you are here. Good morning. Good morning. I got something awesome for you. I have a story for you. I know it's not Monday or Thursday, but I have a story for you. I have other things to do, but I got this. I feel this in my in my spirit. And when you feel it, you got to go with it. So please allow me to do this and share this with you because I know it's going to bless some people. Happy Friday. It is so good to see you. Greetings, my sister. God bless you. Do me a favor. Invite your friends right now, like right now in this moment invite your friends yes all is well all is well indeed thank you so much so do me a favor uh, click on the three dots and invite your followers you guys from facebook live go to the bottom of the screen to the left and invite your friends this is gonna bless them tremendously i'm gonna do the same thing and i'm gonna share my own broadcast if you don't mind because it's gonna bless some people okay uh, i'm gonna do a story and show and tell if you don't mind because you know i am team too much and i love doing uh all kinds of things so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna invite my friends on facebook to watch on facebook why not we can do all things through christ who strengthens us and then we're gonna have the story time is that okay okay awesome so let me tell you real quick, my name is Minister Catherine Storing, and I get to do the main three things that I love to do are speaking, writing, and teaching, and I do that for the glory of God. I help people find their voice, find their words, so they can stand confidently on their speaking platform platform or on any platform that they have they feel they have been called to that's what i help them do i am an author i'm a speaker i'm a teacher i'm a i'm a confidence building coach i've written like a gazillion books but all of that it, it, it pales in comparison to the thing that i love to do the most which is um praising god and sharing the word that's what i love to do the most that's that's what i want to be known for is known hey darling my sister god bless you hey nona i want to be known for um uh by being someone that loves God and loves sharing the word. That's that's what I want to be known for. If anybody says anything about Catherine, I want them to say, hey, Catherine loves Jesus and she loves sharing the word and she likes to encourage other people. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Aisha. It's one of my favorites. It never stays clean long because whenever I wash it, I wear it again. I love it so much. Thank you so much. So show and tell today. What is it? What is the uh, the title of the, the broadcast today? What does a scat iron skillet have to do with your future? Oh my God. So many things. So many things. Of course, I have show and tell. Yes, Jeshree, I was talking to my, my friend yesterday and I told her I need to do a broadcast about this and here it is so yes I have to do it so you if you guys know me I, I'm a foodie okay I don't know if you knew this about me but actually I'm pretty good I'm a pretty good cook okay I took some lessons for about six months I love cooking before my mom is an amazing cook she taught me how to cook so if you ever eat my food you know that it's good it's healthy it's all natural it's organic I sprinkle some love on it uh, great seasonings I don't know what Tina is but I'm saying not right seasonings so I love to cook I and I enjoy a good meal I enjoy a good meal I love 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 to cook okay so I'm a foodie I love to cook do me a favor tap on the screen I want to make sure that you can hear me and see me okay if you have invited your friends um, type the number one and then pay attention because it's gonna get good I, I'm gonna bless you I'm gonna give you a cooking lesson at the same time all at the same time because we can do all things at the same time amen okay awesome so I'm a foodie. I love to cook. Any self-respecting cook, any self-respecting cook is going to have a cast iron skillet, okay? You're going to have several. I have three, and if I have more room, I will have more. I want to have one of the little ones that you can have, like, fry an egg. I, I would love to have that, right? Um, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing, and thank you for listening. Thank you for tapping on that screen, guys. I'm on my way to 4 million hearts, so please do me a favor and tap on that screen like you're paying attention and you know something amazing is about to happen. Awesome. Thank you so very much, you guys on Facebook Live, too. Awesome. So I have three. I would love to 
have two more. I want to have other other sizes. Um, all of the ones that I have, I have an extra large and I have two large ones. I need to have an, a medium one and I need to have uh, a small one. Okay, I don't need to probably, but I would like to have a total of five or six. Okay, so I have three right now. So when you have a good cast iron skillet, okay, and hopefully you guys are, are foodies, but now I'm going to show you. A, a cast iron skillet, it's amazing for so many things. The flavoring that you get, the coloring that you get. When you use a cast iron skillet, it's, um, you cannot even describe it. It's amazing. It, it's, it's beautiful. So if you don't have a cast iron skillet, run to, um, Amazon, run to, um, where else can you get it? You can go to Marshalls, you can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to Target and get yourself a cast iron skillet. It's gonna change your life. If you're gonna make um, eggs, if you're gonna make steak, if you're gonna make potatoes, oh my goodness, if you make potatoes on um, a cast iron skillet, your life is going to change for the better, okay? So, um, if you're gonna make what? If you're gonna make um, a uh, an omelet. Oh my goodness. It's going to be amazing. So all I'm saying to you is get a cast iron skillet, but cast iron skillets are high maintenance. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Classy Ross. I do have to write a cookbook, but it will not be out next week. But yeah, something quick that, like that. So I love to cook. Okay. I love it. So I have my cast iron skillet, but they're not easy to take care of. Can I, can I get a witness about that? Okay. Yes, no, not being a foodie is amazing. Hey, Rebecca, God bless you. Welcome. So I love, 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 love a cast iron skillet. However, they're high maintenance. So I told you that I have three and I needed to, you know, I like to keep it real, right? So I have one that looks pretty good. I have another one that is not so good, right, Rebecca? I love cast iron skillet. So let me show you one that needs some love, okay? I'm going to show you what a, uh, a cast iron skillet looks like that needs some love. Do you see that? Do you see the rust? If I put an egg in here, it will get stuck right away, okay? If I put anything here, um, you can tell they have none of the oil. I don't know who washed it. Somebody's going to get in trouble. Hey, Kiki. But whoever watched this did a bad job. I can tell there's soap in this. You never want to put soap on a cast iron skillet. I mean, they're not very expensive, but they're not cheap either. So, and, and the more you use them, the better they get with time. But you have to use them the right way, okay? You have to use, and they're very heavy. Yes, they're very heavy, darling. Hey, Kiki, God bless you. Um, they're, um, so somebody washed this the wrong way. So if I wanted to use this, it's pretty much useless as it is right now, okay? As it is right now, it's not as good as it could be. So you can see the rust. You can see there's no oil. I can touch this. My hands are still clean. That's a bad sign. This is not a good cast iron skillet as it is right now. I told you this is going to be a show and tell lesson and it's a fade scope. Don't worry. I'm going to get there. So many of us are like that's cast, cast, cast iron stop. Uh, skillet right now many of us are in this condition we are not easy to handle we have some some sections that need some tlc we have some sections that need um some some pruning and and some seasoning many of us are in this situation that if anybody comes in contact with us right now right where we are we're not gonna be any good okay we're gonna do more damage than we do any good okay we still happen to be a cast iron skillet okay so you're still a believer god still loves you he's still calling you to do amazing things for him but in your current state can i get an amen in your current state you cannot be as effective as you were created to be a skillet is created to uh, brown items without sticking to be able to give you great flavoring but one of the requirements is that you remain seasoned, that you're oiled up, that you're not going to be sticky, that you go through the seasoning process. I'm going to tell you what that process is. But many of us resent that process. Many of us are saying, I don't want the seasoning. Why is this happening to me? Yes, dry, unclean, rusty, dirty, unusable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Many of us are in that state. We have been hurt. We're, we're, we're cold. We're not forgiving. And, and then we want, we pray, God, please use me. God, please use me. How many times have you said, God, please 
use me, right? And then the trials come, then the seasoning begins, and then you begin to resent it because you're like, why is that happening? Why is that happening? Why am I going through this? Well, you pray and you ask that you want it to be useful. You pray and you want God to use you to bless other people. And he answers when you ask for a good question. When you ask for something that is good, something that he wants you to have anyway, he will give it to you. So when you said, God, I want to be different. When he said, God, I don't want to be the same anymore. I don't want to be rough around the ages. I don't want people to run the other way when they see me. I want to be kinder. I want to be nicer. I want to be more for giving. I want to be more available. So you know what you do? Do you know what he brings? He brings he brings on the heat, okay? So I'm going to show you my other skillet, and you're going to see what happens when you go through that process, okay? When you go through that, but do me a favor and invite your friends again if you haven't, especially on Twitter. I don't think you guys invited your friends on Twitter. And on Facebook, if you haven't, do me a favor and invite your friends because I'm going to share something that I believe is going to bless you tremendously. So, what is the seasoning process for a cast iron skillet? And it was funny because I was thinking about the process as I was explaining it to a friend and I said, it is so needed. And it looks like something that, that it's, 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 it's going to end you, that, that is hurting you. But in reality, it's making you better. Thank you, Car Sharla. Thank you so much for sharing. The seasoning process looks like it's, it's, it's bad for you, but in reality, it's really good for you. Thank you, my sister Darlene. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so it looks like it's not good for you when in reality it's doing more good than you can ever imagine. So when you want to clean up a cast iron skillet, the way that you do it, okay, you take your skillet and you want to take this rust on this, you want to take this off. So you're going to take some nice salt and you're going to rub it on. You're going to put some oil on it and then you're going to get a rag or you're going to get a, a Brillo pad and you're going to rub it and you're going to start scraping all these things. You need to scrape it all. And there are some items that you need to use and that's going to be salt and oil and a Brillo pad and you're going to scrape it all off. Okay. You're going to get some water. You're going to rinse it all off and that is not fun for the cast iron skillet, okay? It's not fun to go through that. It's not fun to be scraped up. Salt is not fun on the skin. So when you're putting salt on it, it's scraping everything that needs to be scraped off. It doesn't feel good. Then you're going to get some hot water and you're going to rinse all of the particles. You're going to rinse all of it off, okay? So you're scraping everything off the cast iron skillet. And then if that were not enough, are you listening to me? Even if that were not enough, then you put that on the on the stove, okay, for a while because you need to dry it well. It has to dry all the way. Now you're going to put more oil on the cast iron and then you are going to dry it on the, uh, on the stove. However, if the rusting is really bad, you're going to have to go in the oven, okay? If the condition of your heart... If how you're treating others, how you feel about yourself, if it's not good, you're going to have to end up going to the oven, okay? You're going to have to go to the oven. You know what that means? It's going to get hot in there. It's going to get hot in the oven. But the oven, what the oven is going to do, it's going to penetrate even deeper. So you put on the oil, you, you rub it on with a, with a cloth, and then you put the cast iron upside down. And what that does is the oil gets in every corner and the heat goes in deeper and then it makes it smoother again because the cast iron you don't throw it away it can get really really bad you never throw it away ever you put it through the seasoning process so many of you are thinking Catherine you know I, I, I don't know how to forgive I haven't I haven't done the things that God has called me to do I don't know if I can do it I don't know if God can use me to what to that he says I'm gonna put you through my seasoning process okay I am not I'm not gonna throw you away I pay too high of a price for you. You are still useful. You still can, can be used in the kingdom. There are some things that I have called you to do, but I need you to go through the seasoning process. I need you to go through the seasoning process. And you know what happens when that, when that happens? That you're going to get the salt and you're going to get the Brillo pad and you're going to get the oil and the scrubbing is going to begin. And then all those particles are going to start falling off and you're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to 
I feel like, God, why is this happening for me? I don't want this anymore. Can you stop the process? But you know what? He who began a good word in your life, he will not stop until it's finished. He will not stop the process. Even though when you think you're about to pass out from the pain, even though you feel like, oh my God, I cannot take this one more time. Please stop the process. He's not being a bad father because he's not stopping to the, to the opposite. To the opposite, he's being a great father because he's not stopping the process. Actually, he's making you better. He's removing all those things that don't belong in your life anyway, okay? So trust him. He is trustworthy. Just like I'm a 40 and I know exactly how to season a cast iron, the cast iron is not afraid of me because if it was an, uh, a person, he would know that I know what I'm doing that I've been through the training, that I watch the videos, that I know exactly how to do it. The same way, my brother and my sister, you need to trust that he is in control. You need to trust that he knows exactly what he's doing because he knows what he's doing. He really is. The seasoning, it's so necessary, like Tina would say. This seasoning is so necessary. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. This is so necessary in your life because it's high time that you stop fooling around with the things that you have been fooling around. It's time. Hey, Bianca, how are you, honey? God bless you. It is high time for you to stop stumbling with the same block you have been stumbling with time and time again. It is time for you to be different. So now, when you go through the seasoning, can I show you what happens to the iron cast skillet? after it goes through the seasoning okay thank you my sister I love I, I heard I said it yes and I'm like I need to use this so after you go through the seasoning so many of us think that we're gonna die Many of us said, Catherine, I'm not going to make it. Catherine, th this is too harsh. Catherine, God is stripping everything. There's nothing going to be left. Nothing is going to be left of me by the time he's done pruning away and, and, and uh, trimming away and cutting things off. But you know what's going to happen? A new you is going to be born. The you that you were supposed to be from the beginning of time, that's the new you that is going to happen. So when you get that skillet... When you get that skillet, and let me just see, it has some stuff in here because it's got oil on it, but I want you to see the difference. Do you see the oil on this skillet? Do you see the oil? Do you see that I can fry some things in this and there's no rust here anymore? And if I touch it, it's sticky because it's got oil in it. It's being seasoned. It's being through the process, okay? I can put anything I want in here and it's not going to stick. It's going to be okay. All I have to do is rinse it because it's been away for a while and this right here is just oil. I'm going to put some water in it. I'm going to put it on the heat again hey karen how are you even if you go through the process you always gotta go back to the heat okay always you gotta go back to the heat for a refresher you have to go back to the heat whenever you're growing there's gonna be a time that you're gonna have to go back and that's okay because you don't want to go back to this and i'm gonna get my exercise for the day you do not want to come back you don't want to go back to this you want to be this and this requires heat this right here requires you to go through the process over and over again. This is who we used to be without him. Even after we were saved, there were some things that needed to be scraped. And then as we go through the process, we turn into this. A beautiful skillet that is seasoned, that is easy to handle. I had this for a while, okay? It, it, it's easier to handle. It's beautiful. I love this cast iron skillet. Whatever I cook in here, whatever vegetables I cook, whatever, anything I put in here, it's going to taste amazing. If I, if I do my satay mushrooms on this thing right here, Oh my God, they're going to get toasty. They're going to be amazing. The spices are going to are gonna just melt into the pot and go back into the mushrooms. It's going to be amazing. Exactly. Don't go back. Can't go back to that way. You got to continue the process. It's never ending. When I wash this, when I use this, I'm going to have to take a Brillo pad. I'm going to have to go gently with some oil. I'm going to remove any particles that I have and I'm going to put it on the, on the stove again for 10, 15 minutes with some oil and I'm gonna allow the process to continue because this is valuable to me. Do you think that I will allow my 12 year old to watch this, okay? My 12 year old does the dishes here. When I use this, 
I'll wash it right away because I don't, she doesn't know how to take care of this. She doesn't know. I don't trust this just to anyone because not anyone knows how to season this pan right here. I don't want you to trust just anybody. You don't have to trust just anybody, okay? He's got you. He is in control. This is happening for a reason. Can I just encourage you today? Because I know many of you, many of us are going through a refinement process. Many of us are going through a seasoning process. And we need to understand that it is so necessary for us to go through that process. It is so necessary. You're not going to die. Can I just encourage you today and tell you, you are not going to die he meant this for good and not evil everything is going to be okay it's gonna be better than okay the seasoning process it's so needed for where you're going you're very welcome my sister the seasoning process is so needed for where you're going and it's just around the corner so if it gets a little warmer if it gets too hot if the if the scrubbing gets a little hard get excited start praising god because he's removing some things that would get in the way uh, of the blessings that are coming that are gonna get in the way of what he has in store for you so don't fight the process it's okay don't fight it it's gonna be okay go through it allow him to work in your life to remove the things that need to be removed to add the things that need to be added and then allow the heat to finish the process to finish the process. I'm telling you, it's it's almost over, okay? The process that you're going through that season where the heat, you think you're gonna melt, you're not gonna melt, it's gonna be better. You're going through that process, it's going to be amazing. You're about to see the amazing work that that seasoning is doing. You're gonna see it, you're not gonna miss it. You're, you're worrying, you're thinking, I'm not gonna see it, Catherine. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. Yes, put a brace on it because it's gonna be so so worth it right now you're thinking Catherine I cannot breathe through this heat Catherine I'm done with the salt and the scrubbing and the oil and the heat and repeat I'm done with that I'm telling you it will be done when it needs to be done not a moment earlier not a moment later he will end it when he needs to end I'm telling you he knows what he's doing you don't have to do it by yourself you do not have to do it by yourself. Many times we think, Catherine, I'm going to have to do this by myself. You do not have to do it by yourself. He is with you every step of the way. He loves you so very much. The process is so necessary. The process is so necessary. God's going to be bragging on you like I was bragging about my cast iron skillet. He's going to be like, did you see her? Do you know where she was before? Can you see where she is today? Do you see how beautiful she is? Do you see how smooth and shiny she is? I did that thing. I did it. You did not think it was possible, but I was able to remove those rough edges. I was able to remove all those things that you thought were never going to be able to be removed. I did it. He gets all the glory. So he's going to be able to rejoice and say, this is my beloved. This is my beloved. I did that for my glory. So I get to use her. So I get to use him for my glory. The seasoning is not just because. He's not doing it just because. It is necessary. Okay? It is so necessary. So I don't know who needed this today, but I felt that in my spirit, I have to work on something, but I just couldn't let it go. It wouldn't let me go. So I have to go get the the, the, uh, the skillets. I have to get my, my stuff in order. And I had to come and share this with you because I know there's someone that's thinking um, to give up and they're like, Catherine, I cannot do it anymore. I'm just done. I'm just done. I want to encourage you today and tell you that God, is, he has a plan and the plan is good. The plan is really good for your life. I'm telling you, he's almost done. The, the curing process, the heating process is almost done. When you see yourself on the other side, when you go through the belt and you see yourself on the other side, you're going to understand. So I want you to praise right now. I want you to get encouraged. Be encouraged. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. The heat's going to be removed very soon. You're very welcome, my sister Darlene. This is going to, especially in your life, this right here is being a long season. It's being hard. It's being more than, it's harder than harder, harder than I can ever imagine. But there's a purpose in this. I don't know what the purpose is, but when you see yourself on the other side, it's going to make sense. You're going to say, God, I did not think I can make it through. 
God, this was too much for me. I don't think I could have done this. But he's going to show you, my daughter, I was with you every step of the way. I was refining you. I was doing something. Yes, you could not do it by yourself, but I was with you every step of the way. I was in the middle of it. Okay? It was all for your good. It was all for your good. So don't give up, my sister. Be encouraged. He loves you so very much. There's a purpose. I'm not saying that it's fair, but there is a purpose. I'm not saying that it's not painful, but there is a process and there's a reason why. And it's a good, it's a good blessing. It's a good thing that you're going to be able to do for yourself and for others. So receive that, celebrate it today, and know that he loves you so very much. So guys, again, my name is Minister Catherine Story. I'm a foodie um, and I needed to put that together. That analogy came to me and I'm like, I need to use it. It's too good not to use it. So my friend, that is exactly what a cast iron skillet has to do with your future. Your future, it's a process. It's a refinement. It's happening. Your future is here. It just, it looks like a trial, but it's here. Okay, it's here. Be excited about the future. Do what you need to do. Clean up what you need to do because the future is here. Amen. He's awesome. He he's right in there. He's right in there, my sister. He's right in there with us. I wanted to bless you today uh, and remind you that if you want to learn more about what God is doing in my life, you can go to confidenceonchain.org. The website has been redesigned. It's beautiful. It's got everything you need. A whole bunch of freebies and amazing videos and stuff. So you can go and learn more about uh, Confidence on Chain Ministries. That's exactly what God is doing um, in my life. You're very welcome, Nona. I'm so glad. I'm so glad growing longer life. What is your uh, first name, my sister? It's so good to see you. Thank you guys so much for your hearts, for listening, for sharing, and for being open to, you know, an unusual, an unusual um, uh, delivery today. But you know that I love, I love the word of God. And anything, Tarek, God bless you. Any way that he want me to use, use me, I'm going to say yes. Thank you, my sister, darling. God bless you. I so love you. I so appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, they're amazing too. PK and Tina, they're, they're my sisters. I love them so much. God bless you guys. I got to go back and do that thing that I was supposed to do. But in the meantime, know that uh, he's in control and he's with you every step of the way. Okay? God bless you and I'll see you soon.